Are we rolling? Did I press roll? Did I press play? Did I press play? Yes, I did. <laughs> Hello. Today I thought I'd share with you my personal 12 essential caravanning accessories plus one bonus for those of you who tow with an electric car. Now what this is, is me sharing with you what I have found to be essential after a lifetime of caravanning. What this is not, is not that I've gone on Amazon and seen what, I've made, what I can make some commission on. This is purely my recommendations and what I have found to be useful. Now speaking of Amazon, I did get one or two of those items from Amazon and I'll put links to those in the description below but everything else I would strongly encourage you to patronize your local caravan dealership or camping accessory shop and help keep your local businesses sustainable. I was gifted three of the items and I will mention that as we go through them. Everything else I paid for out of my own money but because those three items were gifted and to ensure transparency I have made sure that there is a paid promotional banner at the beginning of this video. However, this video is not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned. So with that, with that, let's crack on and start with what I think is the number one most essential accessory for caravanners. So accessory number one is a torque wrench. In my opinion, an absolutely essential piece of kit. Wheel separation does occur and it happened to me many years ago on the M6 after a caravan service technician failed to tighten the wheel nuts after he'd had the wheels off my caravan. And my misguided trust in this company's procedures, or lack of, meant that I didn't check the torque myself. Every time the wheel has been off, the wheel nuts must be torqued before setting off. And then at about 25, 50 and 100 miles. I've made it a habit to check my wheel nuts every time I hitch up. You can buy a torque wrench from most motoring accessory shops and I use a 19mm socket with mine which fits my caravan wheel nuts. It's a long socket to compensate for the alloy wheels on the caravan. Number two and three are together and they are the Aqua Roll and the Wastemaster. Buy decent, buy once. These are both over 20 years old and have been subject to full-time use for about 12 of those 20 years. Yes, they are big and bulky and they are a pain to store when you're towing. But I've used different manufacturers versions of smaller tanks with lone caravans, especially a different version of the waste tank, and I found them difficult to use, even if they're easier to store. For me, it's Aqua Roll and Wastemaster all the way. Get it right first time. Accessory number four is covers. Bags to put a mucky water container in are essential, especially if you're transporting the containers inside the caravan like I do. I got mine from Bags for Everything of Wakefield who sell online but you will often see them at shows as well. There are two grades of bag. These are the cheaper lightweight versions yet they're still doing the job despite being over 20 years old. Together they now cost about £20. They're cheap to buy, they last for years, what's not to like? Accessory number five is the Humble Bucket, just an ordinary bucket you can pick up in any DIY store or large supermarket. It's versatile and it's essential. Use it when rinsing off the caravan or car, collecting wastewater on a brief stop, doing the laundry, carrying washing up, or maybe even as a fashion accessory. Or maybe not, didn't. Accessory number six is a heater. Being cold is miserable, so get an electric heater as a backup in case your heating breaks down. Make sure it has low power settings, preferably 500 watts and one kilowatt. If your caravan is fitted with Alder central heating, get a fan heater to assist with a faster warm up after arriving on site if the site supply can support it. 
If you have blown air heating as I do now, get a small oil-filled radiator for silent background heat overnight. The next three accessories are all from Milenko and unlike all the other accessories mentioned which I paid for out of my own money, these three were gifted as a thank you for promoting the industry in general which in turn helps supporting businesses like dealers and accessory manufacturers. It's nice when your efforts are recognised, so thank you Milenko. I genuinely do, however, think that they really are the best in the business. Item number seven are towing mirrors. I use Milenko Aero Platinum. I used to have Milenko Aero 3s, which were fine for the Nissan Navara, but could only fit to the bottom of the mirror casing in my Kia EV6. The new Milenko Aero Platinum mirrors have cool new attachments, meaning that they can grip to the thicker mirror casings of the Kia EV6, and they are super stable when they're in use. Caravan security is a major concern for all of us, especially for me when I'm leaving the caravan unhitched to go and charge the car. My requirements for security devices are that they are quick and easy to put on and take off, yet they offer the highest degree of protection possible. Accessory number eight is the wheel clamp. I use the Milenko Wraith, or is it Wrath? Either way, I've had this for about six months now and it has since been superseded by the Wraith 2. It's necessary to fit the supplied special wheel bolt, which then makes it an absolute doddle to attach and remove the wheel clamp. It's secure and it's easy to transport in the supplied bag. Accessory number nine is the hitch lock and I use the Milenko Super Heavy Duty AKS 3004. I did originally try the Milenko Compact hitch lock, but that required using shear nuts on the hitch head, which I wasn't over keen on doing in case the hitch head ever needed replacing in the future. Despite its size and weight, it's quick and easy to use as well as being a great deterrent. Normally, I use a hitch lock with the caravan detached, and in this case, it's essential to use the supplied safety ball. You can also use it with the caravan attached to the car when you're parked up and leaving the whole outfit unattended. Remember to never ever lock your caravan to your car when you're towing. If there is an accident or one of them catches fire, you or a member of the emergency services may need to be able to separate the car from the caravan in seconds. Fit the hitch lock every time you leave the caravan and remember to remove it before continuing your journey. Accessory number 10 is the Gaslow Direct Fill Refillable Gas Cylinder. If you think you're going to get through 10 or more cylinders of gas over the next 10 to 20 years, you can easily save money by investing in one of these. It's also pertinent because Kala have just announced they're going to discontinue their smaller gas cylinders, but you can get a 2.7 kilo Gaslow Direct Fill Refillable Cylinder, which might be able to take their place. I've been using Gaslow Refillable since 2002 and in that time I've saved hundreds of pounds over the cost of exchangeable cylinders. The advantage of Gaslow Direct Fill is that you can remove the cylinder from the caravan and take it in your car to fill it with LPG. But be aware it is now getting more challenging to find places that sell LPG at the pump. That said, I still considered that the £210 I spent on this from the accessory shop at Kimberley Caravans was a worthwhile investment. Accessory number 11 are portable water canisters. Now some people keep their caravan water systems sterilised and they drink water from the Aquarol, whereas others choose not to. It's a question of personal choice. I like to use this 2 litre stainless steel bottle that I bought on Amazon not only for carrying drinking water for me and the dogs during the journey but also for keeping drinking water when in the caravan. Some people use empty plastic milk bottles but health concerns have been raised about reusing plastic like this. 
I also have a smaller stainless steel bottle which was a gift from friends that I use in the car and its rubber loop for holding it or hanging it is incredibly useful. Accessory number 12 is a 13 amp adapter. There might come a time when you need to get power to the caravan but there is only a 13 amp domestic socket available, for example if you're staying on a friend's driveway or you're plugging into a barn on a temporary informal site. I've used this many times, especially as the mains power provided by my car, the Kia EV6, is delivered through a 13 amp socket. And finally, a bonus accessory for EV drivers. I wanted a sign to put on the caravan hitch to let security personnel know that the caravan has not been abandoned if the car is away on charge. This neat sign is made by Rustic Wood Creations, who also make other brilliant and sometimes rather cheeky caravan and motorhome related signs for under £10, so do check them out. I'm absolutely delighted with this bespoke sign and given the cracking value, I'd recommend Rustic Wood Creations to anyone. So there you have it folks, I hope you found that useful. Where possible, I've left links to the products or where you can get them in the description below this video. If you're watching on your smart TV, you will need to watch this video again on your phone, on your tablet or on your laptop or computer. So through the YouTube platform, so you can access the description below this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did folks, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. And it just leads me to say from Dougal and from me, Thanks for tuning in. There. Did you think that was a wonderful list there, Dougal? Did you think that was exciting? Were you excited by that? Were you excited? Hey. You're just cold, aren't you? He never smiles. <laughs> <laughs>If you have a favourite caravan accessory that I've not talked about and you'd like to help out other people and share it, then do please leave a comment below this video. Thank you.